welcome to another video. I hope you're all well and uh, keeping safe. This whole thing has sort of led me down a path of looking to do the garden. So you join me in the kitchen, where I think we can say is the start of the garden. So as a lot will know, it's part of our kitchen renovation. We had these doors put in and there were one reason for that is that this we're going to the point that we go outside and um, have the patio, the barbecue area, the things that we like doing in the summer. So I'll walk you through the plans and uh, show you what we're going to do hopefully. Um, we're not going on holiday anymore, which has freed some funds up. So I'll talk you through the plans. Um, I'll talk you through the budget, whether it's in this video or another, we'll see how long this goes on, but um, yeah, we'll head outside and uh, see what you think. So I've got my drawer in, let's head outside and see what we've got. So to talk you through this, um, I've got my headphones in because of uh, being outside, but so what we've got is the centre point getting dug out. So as you can see, that's going to be here. I've marked it out with some yellow paint there. Um, and I think this is about seven metres long. Um, so as you can see, that'll run to about this location. And then if I walk up here, we can see quite a good size. We're going to go in five metres and then where the doors are we're going to have steps i think they're about two meters long um, and then all this is going to get lowered um, so if i just take you back to the rough drawing so all that's getting lowered and it's about 900 mil lower so what that takes us down to is from there down to the fourth course up and then i think i'm going to put some toppers matching that because if we go down here all this is remaining the same to the gate so you walk through the gate what we'll have here is um i'll put some topsoil in there some chippings we're thinking polar ice chippings which is like a white and bluey mix and then there's going to be things like lavender um cord line that sort of stuff there uh, if you head over to my instagram uh, new build underscore diy underscore journey um, it's a similar thing that we had at the last house on the front garden so that's the sort of what we're going for there and then I need to remove this concrete slab and then up to the this will remain the same height up there and uh, all that will be gravel with plants and then the garden or you know, grassy bit will be further over there and um, so if I just show you the drawing which is sort of this area there and then run up the wall we're going to keep those as a bit of features and um, with gravel that's all going and then we'll have grass up the top so then once we've dug this out we will have um, sleepers lining sort of retaining wall following that line up five meters um, and then i think it's seven meters across um, to give us a good sized patio area so if we move over to this side of the patio so what the plan is we'll we're obviously digging this bit down so we'll dig this bit down so what we're going to do this is going to stay the same height build this wall round i believe under here these steps are going so i'm hoping that there's no breeze block behind there and the wall can just these steps can come out and the wall is as it is and it just needs making good to come around the corner the step then what we're going to do is another retaining wall here following that yellow line but i think i'm going to do it a bit further out maybe to like there and then to give us access to the garden given the height change we're going to have this as grass but ramping up um, that edge is going to maintain the same heights as the patio and then it's just going to ramp up to the garden height where hopefully we'll have a pretty flat grass area 
Um, my thoughts are with that is maybe still have it on a little angle so when I get my lines in the grass you can see them from the house which I think will be cool and then uh, those two are staying and I think I'll make a bench out of them and then the rest is going to be as flat as possible and then come round uh, obviously this is going but come round here and uh, over there so yeah um, started digging out this concrete pad um, just to see where it goes to where it runs and um, it's not very thick so that should be easy enough to get rid of and then as you can see if I move back here that's the edge of the patio it'll be a good size and uh, as you can gather there it'll lead straight out into into the kitchen so ultimately that's it the grass I'm going to be seeding um, I would turf but the very kind people over at the grass people um, I'll pop a link below they've uh, kindly donated me enough grass seed good quality grass seed as well so I'll seed all this area once we're done um, this will be a sleeper retaining wall and I'll put one sleeper across there just for a transition that won't be a sleeper there'll be sleepers down there sleepers down there and then as for the patio we're not doing down there simply a bit of a budgetary thing um, but we will be doing all down there and then in the patio area with paving slabs now we're going for um, we're thinking sandstone um, we like the mint sandstone however a few people have now said they're hard to maintain now maintenance is not a problem for me because uh, I quite enjoy it and um, being out in the garden nice weather and, and what have you but um, we'll have a look at porcelain but the sheer price difference is unreal it's probably nearly an extra £10 a square metre which when you've got 60 square metres it soon adds up so so yeah, we'll be doing all this in some sort of sandstone probably. The patio sandstone. We'll have the two steps in sandstone and I may have a go at bricking it up with these bricks once I've took them out. And then it's going to be little things like this drain. I'm going to extend the drain um, to equal distance either side of that door. Um, and then... Uh, we've got some drainage. The drain's already there, so it's just a case of uh, making it bigger. Um, part of us building works while the kitchen was in bits. We had lights, up and down lights for a bit of ambience. And then we've got a floodlight up there put in um, just to give us some light on a night. Um, and then the little ancillary bits for the garden that we're thinking is in the living room, there used to be a light there. So what I've done, I've disconnected that light and that's a good switch and now and a point that we could put some ground lights in. So what I'm thinking is all the areas where the sleepers are, so up there or along there, some ground lights shining up, again, give some ambience and then I might put some along that bed, shine up on fence just to give it a bit of a, of a feature. And then the other thing I want to do is, because I'll not be using that outside tap for washing the car because that'll come in another project in the garage but I want an irrigation system to water the garden so what the plan is to run some sort of piping under there um, and then we can get it uh, up into the garden and then what I'm thinking is some pop-up sprinklers probably right in that one in that corner one halfway one up there one halfway and then one probably over there and then one here and that'll cover the garden and just uh, take care of the watering on its own save me a job because I do forget so yeah bit of a big project on his hands as you can see um, that's the bit of a plan and uh, see if you can reference that against that so we'll see what we can do and uh, I'll be looking forward to it I certainly am there's a lot of hard work in there and um, I definitely think I'll be needing a mini digger um, because the last house we dug up and um, it was hard work. 
weather were lovely um, but it made it a hell of a lot more harder work so so yeah we're going to get a mini digger in i have got a few companies working with me on this um which will help with the budget but i'll explain that when uh, when we come to doing uh, the budget and i'm going to video that i've got a rough idea of what we're thinking price wise um so yeah we'll see how we get on um but i thought i'd do this video just to talk you through uh, what the garden plan is i've had a lot of feedback over on instagram uh, that people are wanting to follow this uh, this journey specifically um so yeah with my three-week holiday in florida is gone um which has freed up some time some money um so i'm gonna have two weeks off work and hopefully go for it and um, make a start so it'll be a bit bitty and bobby to start with um when i take the wall down and get these steps out um i think i'll be doing that on a night around work um, and then we'll look maybe smash the concrete pad up as well and, and then what I want to be in a position that when I hire a mini digger I'm going to hire it for the week and uh, we can just go for it then use the mini digger to its max capabilities um, without wasting time um, I think that's the key thing with these sort of projects is you're not hiring things spending money on tools that sort of stuff and then wasting them with them sat still so if i'm hiring it i want it i want to be using it for the whole uh, duration so um there's a bit of prep work to do and i need to decide do i take these up before and or after um we'll see but just something else i want to touch on is the transition so we're not doing a driveway um we've obviously got a gate here now do we transition it here with some sort of edging stones there to transition it down here so all sort of the back garden is paving slabs i'm not sure let me know in the comments and uh, what you think but yeah big project um i think it'd be worth it um, just another note this wall is getting raised um another two courses um it's very deceiving um as neighbors actually can't see over uh, when they're in their garden it's just how it lays we have been round and checked it but they're happy to raise the wall two courses so we'll get that done and then up here just in the raised areas where the garden is we'll pop some maybe composite fencing up there eventually but it's lower my priorities we've got good neighbors and um, so so yeah let me know what you think of the plans let me know any tips and uh, give it a thumbs up if you're looking forward to uh, seeing this one develop this will be a bit of a series and uh, i've ordered myself a new gopro so we can get some good time lapse and uh, really show you what we can achieve so um, stay tuned thanks for watching and uh, please like subscribe and uh, follow the journey go check us out on instagram for behind the scenes photos and things and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>